new Scottish records for home matches without defeat. Bobo Baldi returned from the African Nations Cup and a 4-4-2 starting formation which quickly reverted to a back three. John Hartson though still missing with a back injury. The last time Dundee United beat Celtic in Glasgow was Boxing Day 1992. Duncan Ferguson scored the winner that day. Ian McCall's side were without the suspended Chris Innes and Andy McLaren. Stuart Duff returned at Innes's place in what was expected to be a hard-pressed United defence. The referee at Celtic Park yesterday was Ian Fife. Our commentator was Paul Mitchell. Right-footed in. Dundee United players were shouting for handball. Referee and Fife had a good look and allowed play to continue. And the ball comes in, chance comes down, Varga! Celtic's best chance so far. Ball came in, it was nodded down, and Varga looking for the far post. Was knocked down to him by Chris Sutton. Just pulled the ball wide though. Here comes Dundee United. Bobo Baldy comes across. That's a poor clearance. Billy Dodds goes in there. Robert Douglas comes out with his head. That's going to be returned by Charlie Miller. On to Billy Dodds. Dodds plays it through. Chance here for Jim McIntyre. And Robert Douglas gets himself out of trouble with the save. Well, Robert Douglas, for some reason, didn't choose to hold the ball, came with his head. Billy dodged a great ball forward on to McIntyre, and the save was made. A beautiful play by Mark Wilson, and the free kick is awarded. Look at this play from Wilson, clipped it inside, took the touch, and really there was no free kick there. I think Jackie McNamara uh, rightly aggrieved there, Jackie McNamara. So Barry Robson fires the ball there in the touch! And it's in! And Alan Archibald scores for Dundee United! Ball swung in, Alan Archibald got the touch, got the ball away from Robert Douglas. A second of the season for Alan Archibald. Varga didn't make the header. And Dundee United have the lead after an hour. Here comes Celtic now. They'll try and take it up a notch. Didier Gatt looking further and further forward. Played it across. Alan Archibald knocks the ball out of play. The ball comes in. Two, three players there. And eventually Stan Varga with a header. Gallagher makes the stop. Well, Alan Thompson's corner came in. A couple of players missed it for United. Varga from point blank range hit the goalkeeper. Brian Kidd on a spying mission on behalf of England and Sven Goran Eriksson looking at that man, Alan Thompson. Pushed in. Varga. Lots of Varga knocked it in, Henrik Larsson and the fingertips of Gallagher turned the ball away. The Celtic fans, well, they were looking for 23 consecutive wins. They're looking at the first league defeat at the moment. Here comes Sutton. Sutton plays it across, Maloney! Sean Maloney gets Celtic level. Just over nine minutes to go. It was a lovely ball through. Chris Sutton held it up, and Sean Maloney was there to push the ball into the back of the net. Maloney celebrates Celtic a level. Celtic won. Dundee United won. So Celtic looking for the winner. Referee says that's a penalty. Duff takes down Petrov and referee Ian Fife said that's a penalty kick. So Celtic who scored with 60 seconds ago. Score again. Chris Sutton has turned around from the penalty spot and 
Celtic up the lead for the first time the afternoon. Sutton. And to Maloney, the two goal scorers combined. And the challenge came in there from Billy Dodds. Well, he's been booked already. Yellow for a second time means red for Billy Dodds. The challenge from Dodds put Maloney to the ground. And that is second book of all fans. And Billy Dodds is red-carded.